Hi everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to do uh, a SOAP request using JavaScript. Uh, very simple code, uh, not mm, too many lines. Uh, the only thing that I want to uh, let you know that this is a video about SOAP request using JavaScript. I'm not going to be explaining SOAP or even the XHR the, or the X, XHTML, XML HTTP requests that will be used in this um, video. These two topics are not going to be explained in this video. I'm only going to show you how to do it in how to do SOAP request using JavaScript. So if you want to know more information or get more information about SOAP request, please Google SOAP. That stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. And if you want to know more about the XML HTTP request. There are so many uh, open sources and so many explanation uh, talking about that. But this is again, as I mentioned, it's about SOAP requests using JavaScript. So I assume that you understand um, SOAP. And I'm going to be sharing the code with you in the video. Uh, but please um, listen to the video and, and see what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and then feel free to use it. All right, so uh, what I have here, I have a SOAP UI, and then uh, services is right here, and this thing that I'm going to be, or this structure that what I'm going to be submitting, or is a SOAP request, see it's loading down here, and there you go, I'm, I'm, I, I expect my uh, result to be the same thing, but using JavaScript, all right? So here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a very quick uh, and very simple um, button here and then or a page HTML document uh, input sorry input okay and then value and call it request and we have on click a soap request. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to call a function. I'm going to have a script in the header right here. So call it script. Script. And then I'm going to have a function calling the soap request. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to have a var. This var basically is going to hold, or this string is going to hold. Uh, sorry, var st str equals to this what I need so I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to put this all in here but and in, uh, in, 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 in it's going to be a um, a string instead of being just the way how I showed you so I have something copy ready so we don't need to uh, go through that line by line something like this we don't need this anymore all right so something like this as simple as it is okay so uh, there's another code that you might be interested in looking into, or the, XHTM, uh, the XML HTTP request, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so maybe something like this is what we need. And uh, this is a very um, simple uh course or a an xml http request please do a research on it i'm just going to be using this in the code but this is not the the uh, i mean the, the the question is is that said that what we're going to be doing just doing the code it this is only part of the code that we're going to be doing but uh the idea we need to submit this to somewhere and i'm going to be doing that in a bit okay so now we need to call this function. Of course, I'm going to be storing the uh, whatever is going to be returned. 
okay because now we're going to be returning as um, xhr at the end uh, so I'm going to be having a, I'm going to be creating a var called xhr and then equals to calling the create chorus which is this one okay now this function expects two parameters okay to argument now we're going to be putting post method and then we're going to be saying the URL and the URL is going to come from here okay right here that I'm doing copy and I'm going to put it right here okay all right so next now we have the XHR object right here and then we're going to be working with it again if the XHR call is not successful so if it's not X H R what we need to say there was a problem maybe for just for you for you to say console dot log so you understand uh, we're gonna say X H R uh, issue okay or maybe X H R of course not supported or whatever okay and now we want to clear and say uh, return okay now <clears throat> we, we call this function but we still haven't submitted the data and we want to see um, the response of the uh, the requests that are going to be that we going to be submitting okay now there are so many different properties with the XML HTTP request and as I said if you can do a research that will be great it's going to be a very helpful thing you might be doing anyways but I'm just giving advice just have a, a look at it okay so we're going to do XHR on on load and this is going to be a function, okay? And this function, basically, we don't need onload. We need, uh, sorry, we need onload. We, there, there will be onload and onload end. So when the state or the the status of the XHR is onload, we're going to be getting something back. So I'm going to put the that something back call the maybe the results okay when we get the response or whatever you name it now we need to put it somewhere so now there we go xhr dot response type oh, sorry response text now we're getting back and we are assigning to its results I'm gonna just put this and say uh, is a console dot log Okay, and then we're gonna put this. We want to see what exactly we got back. Okay, I think that's it for the uh, for the data. And before we send it, now we need to send the data, of course. Now XHR, we need to make sure because sometimes, don't forget, respond um, SOAP expect XML set of data. Okay, so XHR dot set request not only that said request uh, sorry set re request header okay set request header and now we want to say content content type and now we need to say text XML okay don't forget this I'm going to show you if I if I have if I'm going to come if I comment this line out what's going to happen but X H R dot send now uh, now we need to send our data and there we go we need to put the str in here 
and then we need to see if everything is okay with this. Okay, so I save it, go back here, double click, open the browser, and then go F12. See the console, when you click this, let's see if we, there we go, we get back the response. Now we did the uh, request and we got the response, and if you notice the, just to show you the last, at the end of the binary here, and then go back here and say at the binary, see what I got here. This is the exact same thing, I'm, what I'm getting, okay? You see the same thing. Let's go to the network and see what we submitted. Right here, we say, okay, the request, this is what the request, the request was. Okay, we were actually looking for something. This is the request payload, responds back with this. Now, as I said, let's have a look without this code, what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, let's have a look. If I go back here and say, okay, request this. Look, there's a problem. Let's see what happened. Unsupported media type. So without this, it's a problem, okay? Because it expects a type of data, it must be XML. And again, look look up the XML HTTP request and understand it, you know, without this, what is the default and, and all these things. These are just, this is a really an amazing topic that you want to uh, understand. Okay, so as I said in the beginning of the video, I will be sharing this code with you if you want. I'm just going to remove the URL and uh, the location, what I have here because, and, and this whole thing over here you don't need. I'm just going to replace it with something, maybe I'll call it, um, you know, I already I always find this problem with all the videos when they try to change the code, they don't tell you in the video what they're going to be changing, okay, so I'm going to put this here as an empty empty string with saying that your, your soap request, this is what I'm going to be sharing with you, request, okay, I think what you don't need here, I'm going to just say, I'm just going to pay, put something like this over here. I think that's all you need. Other than that, everything is okay. Okay. So one of one thing that I think I would like to mention is why I made this video up, and it's a very simple video. I tried to look for many different videos for. Uh, SOAP request using JavaScript, I couldn't find one. I'm, I'm not sure if there's one out there, but when I when I tried to look for one, I couldn't find one, and it's, it's a good idea to share this with you guys, okay? I hope this video is going to help you somehow, and I'm going to post this um, script or this code when I finish recording this video. I hope there's going to be a, a solution for you if you're looking for one. And uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any question about this code, please uh, leave me a message. I mean, leave a comment. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.